I'm not trying to boost the caller's side of the conversation. I'm not trying to play it at all. I don't know why people have such a hard time with that. I guess if you just tune in and you don't, you know, you haven't been here a long time, you don't, you don't know. I should just explain. We have to mute caller audio on this show only, on the Tech Guy show only. Every other show on the Twit Network, you hear everything. I'm not hiding anything. But I don't own the radio show. The radio show is owned by Premier. And the stations that Premier sells this show to uh, quite reasonably demand that we not play the show on a live stream because they're, fr they're afraid that people will listen to that instead of their stream or their radio, which has commercials, which is how they pay for the show so they can pay us for the show. So um, initially, Premier said, we don't want you to stream the show at all. And, you know, I kind of fudged around it, and, all I, and I thought, well, what if I just only play my side? You know, this is kind of like a spy cam, and, um, and you just hear my end of the show. So you don't hear anything from Premiere, you just hear this stuff. And uh, everybody seems okay with that. So uh, the truth is I never really did get permission to do that even. But nobody's complained. So we, we have to serve you kind of a um, one-ended, single-sided show. But only during the radio show. The rest of the time you hear everything. Personally, I'm with the people who say, well, what's the harm in playing both ends? I don't think that many people would watch it instead of the streams and so forth but it's not my call the radio stations call and they get to choose what to do and that's what they choose so i know it's not like i i, ha I can say well no i'm gonna do what i want to do and this is the one case where uh, you know this is how i make my living so <laughs> i can't mess with that <laughs> i don't i you know uh i think twit will will uh be a very profitable I, it is very profitable and i think it will i think i will make a lot of money on it someday but until then, I kind of need a day job. So uh, this is my this is what you just saw was my day job, and uh, it pays quite well. I'm very happy, you know. So, a nationally syndicated radio show is a pretty profitable enterprise if it's successful, and uh, thank goodness, thanks to that, I can do things like uh, twit the rest of the time. Otherwise, I'd have to work a forty-hour week job, and there'd be no twit network. Uh, Kisco could I could I get this question a lot too. Premier said yes, you can do a paid only full version. That's what Rush Limbaugh does. That's what Coast to Coast does. Doctor Laura, a lot of shows on Premier do do that. Stations don't mind that because they offer a free version, advertising supported version. So if it were a paid version, but here's my problem: you guys are smart. <laughs> you guys are techie. How long before that paid version is broadcast out in an unpaid version? The premiere has a huge problem with Coast to Coast, which also has a lot of techie listeners, not as many as this show, but some, because they're constantly squishing and constantly have to spend, they spend a lot of time and energy looking for pirated streams. And uh, I don't want to get in a situation of producing content that I have to worry about piracy. It's just, it's kind of been a policy decision, so I don't have to think about DRM, I don't have to think about cease and desist, I don't have to think about, you know, and that's what would happen if I had a private paid only stream all of a sudden now I'm in the business of protecting that stream and I don't want to be in that business so everything I do is free open to the public I don't have to you know remember when dig I mean Dignation um, had a if for donors only stream that was early how long did it take before that was mirrored and eventually dig stopped doing it because they couldn't you can't police it so I've learned my lesson don't do stuff you have to police <laughs> 